everyone, so today I am doing a video on how to apply false eyelashes as well as a bit of an explanation on what kind of eyelashes I like and I'll show you my favourite eyelashes and favourite eyelash brands and all that kind of stuff I just stocked up recently so I'm going to show you them and write down below where you can get them also in case you want to get some for yourself. So I have applied the false eyelashes now. You can see that false eyelashes really just give you a really amped up effect. You know, eyelashes are just so important to a makeup look. I'm sure like pretty much every single person watching this video probably wears mascara. Um, so it just really emphasizes those lashes and just makes your look look just really glamorous. You can get heaps of different false eyelashes. You can get natural ones, you can get super dramatic ones, you can get like fun ones with feathers and colorful ones. You can really get like just so many different kinds. Personally I either like really natural ones or slightly dramatic ones and for me this would be my kind of dramatic lash. So I wanted to show you with these lashes just because you know they're a bit more dramatic and you can really see the difference. I'm sure you've seen me apply lashes tons of times in my videos but I just wanted to do an in-depth kind of run through on how I do it and what I use and all of that kind of stuff. So I'll just insert the clip right now of how to apply false eyelashes so you can see how to do it. So first of all you want to select your lashes of course. I'm using these House of Lashes Pixie Lux lashes. I just want some really dramatic ones today. So I'm taking these ones. So the first thing that I like to do when I'm going to wear false eyelashes before I start so probably like three to five minutes before I know I'm going to be applying the lashes. I'll take my glue and I like to use at the moment the Duo Lash Grip. This is the clear one. I prefer clear because sometimes I don't like to use black eyeliner underneath my false eyelashes. So I like the clear. I can choose whether I want to have eyeliner or not. So what I actually do is I take a rounded container. Some people might think this is gross but honestly like... Just make sure everything's clean and wiped down. You'll be sweet. This is like the best way I've ever found. I like to take a container and then I'll take some glue and just squirt some out. You do waste more product doing it this way but I just find it so much easier. I'll literally just put a little dollop down like that. Then I will sit it down while I do everything else. So you can see right now I don't have any mascara on. And that's because the mascara can dry and make your lashes quite kind of crisp so it's harder to kind of work around them with the lashes so I like to make sure that they're still wet it just makes it a lot easier so before I put on the mascara I'm just going to make sure the eyelashes fit when you get some false eyelashes sometimes they might be a little bit too big for your eye I kind of have kind of big eyes so sometimes I don't need to trim them and then some brands I do so we're just going to take them out I should probably show you how to take them out really effectively so this one I've already taken out when you buy lashes they are in a container like this glued on to the little plastic part. So what I like to do, you don't want to just grab them from one end and pull them off because that can make them go a funny shape, which means they're not as easy to apply. So you want to make sure you just grab them and then pull. So I'll take them from the middle and take my thumb and just, this is really hard to do on this angle, but just slowly keep like moving my thumb around the lash and pull them away so that I'm not just shaping them. And then it just slides right off and it's still in that nice U shape. Now, if you've got quite round eyes, make sure that you kind of go like this just to bend them some more so that they really just go straight down and like kind of match up with your eye. Okay, so once you've got your lash, you will notice that with most lashes, there is a left one and a right one. So just make sure that you've got them matched up. The shortest edges, like so the shortest lashes should go in the middle and the longer ones should go out the edges. So once you've got that sussed, you want to just match, this is no glue. You want to just put it on your eye and kind of see how big they are. So they should kind of match up with the end of your natural eyelashes and then go probably four fifths across your eye. So you don't want them to be right in the inner corner. If you look right ahead, you kind of want the lashes to start right there where your eye begins. So you want them to go there to the outer corner. So when I put these on my eyes, they go like past the outer corner and right in here. The reason you don't want them too close in here is because that can help them kind of lift off and you don't want your eyelashes to lift off. And it also really tickles the inside of your eye, which it just makes them really uncomfortable to wear. So when you're trimming them, the best way to trim them is to trim the longer side. Because if you trim the kind of shorter side, then they're going to look really unnatural because they'll all be long. There won't be any like tapered kind of finish. You'll know what I mean if you've, if you've ever done it. So I'm just going to trim off the end. And just do it little by little because you can just, you can trim some more if you need to. You don't want to trim off too much at once. And then when I put them down, you can see that they start on my outer corner and then they go just there. So I could even trim them just a little bit more. And that's perfect. And you'll even notice just sitting them on top of your natural lashes how much more comfortable they are. So 
Now you just want to do the same with the other one. Once you've done that, then you can put on your mascara. Um, I just use any mascara. It doesn't really matter. Just make sure you don't put too much mascara on the top eyelashes because it can really kind of make them harder to apply on top. You can put mascara on and it's a good idea to put mascara on because then your eyelashes aren't real pale underneath the dark eyelashes. Like you'll be able to see the two different kind of sets when people are looking at you straight on from a close kind of range. So you just want a little bit of mascara just to colour them in so that they blend flawlessly. And then just take your lashes, it doesn't really matter which one you do first. Take it, make sure it's nice and rounded, just make sure. And then take your glue and it'll be on your container. And then all you want to do is put a little bit all around the band. So I like to just kind of dab it in and that's why I like to use a rounded surface for this. And then just make sure you have a good glob on each inner and outer corner just to make sure that they're really going to be stuck down in those areas. Because those are the areas that it really likes to lift off first. Okay, once you've got the glue on your lashes, I like to use my fingers. You can use tweezers and stuff like that if you want, but I find my fingers the easiest for myself. It all depends on your personal preference. So I like to just take the lash and then kind of just... This is where you want to have a mirror. I use a little bendy mirror. I put it down right in front of me and then bend it up. So I'm looking at my own nose. You basically want to have your head on a tilt like this and this will make your eyelashes. So if I look in the camera, you want to be on this kind of angle. It'll make it easier to get behind your lashes. So I'm looking down and then I'm just going to pop those on top of my lashes and just sit them there. Now the longer you sit them on your skin, the tackier the glue will get. It'll get stickier and stickier and they'll be easier to kind of stick down. So if you find one corner that isn't sticking down, just let them sit there for a minute and then go in again and hopefully the glue would have like gotten a lot stickier. Okay, so they're all down. Now there's a little gap in between my real lashes and the fake lashes, but it's okay. We'll fix that in a second. I just want to let these really stick. So I'm just going to let them sit here like this. And then in a minute, I will pinch them in and make them kind of blend a lot better. So you obviously just want to do the same with the other lash. See, like this lash right now isn't sticking down perfectly the first time because these lash bands are quite thick so these aren't really beginner friendly but I'll show you soon which ones are. So once it's down I like to just take my finger and gently pinch on my lashes and this will just help drag down that lash band a little bit and just help blend them together. You can use an eyelash curler if you'd like but I just like to use this method. And once the lash glue is dry you can go in with a liquid eyeliner and just sharpen up that line and make sure that all the lash glue is covered. So basically the essence of it is I like to leave my lash glue to dry for ages, ages and ages and ages. Um, the longer the better obviously as long as it's not dry but look I've had this here for like five minutes now and the lash glue is still runny so honestly just leave the lash glue to dry for ages it'll make it easier I promise. And now that my lashes are on I'm just going to finish off with some mascara on the bottom eyelashes. Okay, so I hope that helped. I hope it was enough detail and if you've got any more questions, just leave them down below. But basically, yeah, just leave the glue on for ages and just really take your time with them. Don't try to rush them. If you want to do false eyelashes for a really special event, I would recommend practicing. Like, buy two pairs and really just practice a few times and make sure you've got it down packed. Wear the lashes out for a day because you will find the first few times you wear false eyelashes they do feel quite a lot different. They do feel a little bit heavy but nothing too uncomfortable. It's just something you've got to get used to over the next couple of hours. And then you also just want to make sure that you down pack the gluing technique so that they stay stuck down all day long and don't kind of start peeling off during the day. I just want to quickly add in now you can reuse eyelashes. Like I reuse some of my eyelashes literally about 10 times. Some of them I only use a couple times. It kind of depends on the lash, it depends on the quality of the lash and it depends on how well you take them off. 
The way I take off my lashes personally is at night time I will take a hot face cloth like real hot and I'll hold it over my eyelashes and the steam and the hot water will loosen the glue um, or you can do this like if you hop in the shower um, you can literally just stand there and the steam from the shower will help to loosen them or you can take like a cotton bud with makeup remover or whatever and then what will happen is you'll feel them loosening up you can kind of like grab them and wiggle them a little bit if they feel like they're really really hard to remove stop and steam them some more put some hot water on your eyes because if you really pull them off one it might hurt a little bit but two more seriously they may pull out some of your natural eyelashes and you don't really want that so just make sure you steam 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 your eyelashes and they will literally just pop off and then the glue will almost be like a weird layer of literally like hard glue you can pretty much just peel it off and your lashes will be good to go for another use i don't typically put mascara on top of my false eyelashes because that makes them a bit messier and harder to reuse so i'll just put on a little bit of mascara first as you saw in the demo and then pop on the lashes on top and squeeze them together and that really just gives me the best effect if you put mascara on top of the false eyelashes it'll clump up on them and then when you go to reuse them they'll look a bit haggard you know okay so that's basically the download on false eyelashes i love false eyelashes i wear them so often once you get used to applying false eyelashes like they're just such a fun thing to add to your look even if it is during the daytime i like to use them during the daytime just more natural ones not necessarily ones like this more natural ones just really give you like a really flirty look and not many people really can tell that you've got them on if you do it well if you apply them properly okay so now I'll show you my favorites okay so first of all I clearly love the house of lashes lashes these are the pixie lights the ones I'm wearing today which is why there's nothing in there but I'll put the link down to house of lashes below I absolutely love their lashes and I always stalk their Instagram because they always post really nice pictures so love them um, I'm wearing my favorite ones at the moment as I said they're the pixie lights I also really love I'll show you I've got them in my collection these ones are the noir fairy and they are just so gorgeous and like fluffy looking i'll zoom in as you can see they're just really nice and fluffy and i really like it because they're just very flirty looking so love them now the other lashes i love i buy off of loveeyelashes.com i'll put the link down below because i just love this selection they have all of the eyelashes that I could ever need i love adele i love i forget what they're called eyelore Isla, like the Katy Perry line. I love those and I've got like the Miss Adoro, if that's how you pronounce it. Just all of those really great brands. Blah, blah, blah. I love these ones here. These are my ultimate favorite, my number one holy grail favorite, 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 favorite lashes. And these are the Ardell Professional Natural Wispies. Wispies are my favorite and so many different brands do them. Um, I also like the Cherry Blossom ones, which you can see they look almost the exact same. The only difference is the Ardell is slightly better quality, but these ones are like half the price as well. So, I mean, just depends what you want. Um, I love them both. And also, I've got like five other brands down here that do them, like Red Cherry. Um, what else? Oh, well, these ones, you say they're great. They're the Butterfly 100% Human Hair ones. These ones are the Demi Wispies, which are my other favorite. The Demi Wispies are just slightly shorter, but the Wispies and Demi Wispies both look very, very natural on the eye and just really flirty and just make your eyes like prettier um i don't really know how to explain it they're not super dramatic or anything like that they just give your natural eye look just oomph and they just look really really beautiful if you go through my videos i probably use these kinds of lashes most of the time the wispy the wispy line i suppose you could say also these kiss ones i've started using recently um these ones are the paparazzi o2 um they look like that super super winged out these ones here are quite natural they're the au natural number two which is just really really beautiful like natural thick lashes eyelore are some of my favorite lashes as well they're the ones that do the katy perry lashes and these ones here are the naturalites evening wear ultra glam lashes they just look like this and they're just really long and really pretty and full they're a lot longer at the outer corners so they give that kind of cat eye effect rather than just length so i love those red cherry are amazing these are the 117s and they're just very very full dramatic lashes so really good if you want to wear them to like an evening party or clubbing or just something like that i've never tried these ones but i really want to i want to show them because they look really really cool they're the natural adels in 134 they look really scary but i just i can imagine how good these are gonna look just really really long and 
just interesting like you know for like a really different look you look at them side on and they're just very very like spiky looking so I'm really looking forward to trying those ones out oh here's some more of my favorite house of lashes ones these are the Hollywood glam really really gorgeous and really natural and long um but yeah my favorite ones are definitely Ardell Whispers you have to go stock up on them once you try them you'll kind of know what the fuss is about because they're just beautiful I've just got so many of these like the cherry blossom number 15s they are really nice and natural as well, but really, really volumizing and thick. So they're going to give you really thick, like full lashes but without being too long and dark, if you get what I mean. These are the Gypsy Lashes. Recently started trying these ones out and these are number 90 and they're just really full as well, but not as long. So they're not going to give you like really big drag lashes. They're just going to give you really nice, intense darkness, like pretty much like a really intense darkness to your lash line. So those will be really nice. These ones here are the cream eyelashes. I love these. These are the number 415 and they're just really long, just like the Wispies, maybe even a tad longer and they're just so beautiful. Love them. And then of course, as I was saying, the Miss Adoro Wispies, great, great, great lashes. The Miss Adoro ones are really, really kind of popular on YouTube. So this is a really good side to get them off and they're really affordable so that's always a bonus. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, let me know down below what your favourite style of eyelash is or like your favourite brand of eyelashes or whatever, whatever. Um, I love eyelashes so much and yeah, I will be using all of these in videos obviously to come and I hope that this video kind of gave you some inspiration to try out false eyelashes because they really are a lot of fun. It just takes practice and patience. Have a really good day and I'll talk to you the day after tomorrow. Bye.